Okra is low in calories, but packed full of nutrients. The vitamin C in okra helps support healthy immune function. Okra is also rich in vitamin K, which helps your body to clot blood. Antioxidants are natural compounds that help your body fight off molecules called free radicals that, that can damage cells. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ifechi Health and Wellness. You know, I love okra, but recently I decided to dig a little bit deeper into okra because I've heard so many good reports about how good okra is. And I was amazed by what I found. And I thought, let me come here and share it with people. I don't know how many of you who love okra as I do. I know some people don't like it because of the slimy nature, but that slimy nature, I'll tell you about that slimy nature, the importance of it, what that what makes okra, what it is actually. You know, so okra is a nutritious food with many health benefits. It's rich in magnesium, folate, fiber, fiber, antioxidants, and vitamin C, K1 and A. Okra can actually help to control your blood sugar. And so one research I looked at said that it may even have anti-cancer properties, especially with colon cancer, because if it helps you to the fiber in it helps you to open your bowel. I know somebody who said that when they have constipation, she quickly goes for okra, goes to buy the okra and then put lots of vegetables in it, just like that, and just, just be licking it. And that the next thing, she will open her bowels. If you love okra like I do, keep having it. But one thing I want to point out though, the less cooked, okra is the better for you you know when you want to cook okra put all your protein and all the other thing cook them all properly towards the end just add your okra and switch off the pot make sure that it's still that green color is still there i see some people they cook their okra they will cook it and cook it and then it will change to a different color no, 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 that way it's, yeah, it's losing its nutrients. The whole idea is defeated. And talking about blood sugar, some people have used it like they use the whole okra or they cut it into chunk, chunk, uh, big chunks. They put water, they leave it for 24 hours. They will now remove the okra and they will drink the water. But I don't know whether I'm able to drink, do that because of the slimy nature, just drinking it, but eating it, making it and just eating it with vegetable, just licking it, not even with any fufu, just swallowing and um, licking it like that. Yes, I can do that. But drink, putting it in the hot water, some people do. And they said it helps them with their blood sugar. And if it does help you with your blood sugar, why not? You know? So okra is considered a superfood. And as I said before, it's very high in fiber, in vitamins and minerals. And some dietitians, the one I was looking, dietitians, some of them consider it as a cholesterol lowering food. Yeah, it can lower your cholesterol as well. And okra contains a compound, you know that slimy compound, I'm coming to it now. It contains a compound called mucilage, which becomes a natural thickener when it's heated. So that raw, wind, slimy nature in it. It's called mucilage. And that's what helps you to help to thicken your food. Sometimes you just put okra. You don't need to put anything else. That drawing substance in it helps to um, actually, that's the part that does the job with your cholesterol from what I looked at. You know, there's LDL and HDL. So, okra is able to reduce your LDL from what I looked at. And that mucilage or the mucus-like characteristics of okra, that's the property, as I said, that helps to remove cholesterol and bile acid from toxins, 
from and, 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 and with toxins and from the body. Wow. So once it does that, it then disposes of the cholesterol and toxins in the liver. And then removing it from your blood and preventing your uh, arteries from clogging. So it's also good for your arteries. It's good for your heart health. If you are not a lover of okra, what are you waiting for? I love okra so much. And with what I've just looked into now, I'm like, wow, let's go for it. So number one is rich in nutrients. Number two, it contains Tens beneficial antioxidants. Number three, it may lower your heart disease risk. Number three, it may have anti-cancer properties. Number four or five, it may lower your blood sugar. And actually, I also researched that it's actually beneficial for pregnant women because of the folate or the vitamin B9, which is an important nutrient for pregnant women, and okra contains that. It helps to lower, lower the risk of neutral tube defect, which affects the brain and spine of developing fetus. Yes, so pregnant women, if you love okra, go for it. Some people say, oh, they don't like, you know, that this taboo, people don't like um, to eat a snail, when they're pregnant or something like okra because it may make their, their child to be drooling or something. All that is just a, a meat. It's not true. So if you are pregnant and you love okra, because of the content, the folate content, B, vitamin B2, B9, which is, an important, which is very important for pregnant women, go for it. But as I say, please make sure that you don't overcook it. And another good thing about okra is that it's very easy to add to your diet. I've said before how you can just get it, cut it, add some onions, add some spinach or kale or whatever vegetable and just lick it like that. You don't have to, you know, if you have, um, if you don't, don't like a swallow or you don't, it's not all the time that you have to use fufu for it, just lick it like that. Just use your spoon, take it as soup and just have and that will actually fill you up. But remember, make sure that you don't overcook it. That is very, very important. Because if you overcook it, then you are now destroying some of these or most of these nutrients that I have just mentioned. This is just a quick video. It's not going to be long. I'm going to stop it now. But I just want to bring out this benefit of okra. In case you don't know about them, they are very good overall for us. But I have to keep emphasizing don't overcook it. Once you finish with your protein or whatever fish, or if you are going to use it, you, can, you don't even have to eat, use, uh, cook it with fish or meat or whatever. You can just cook it on its own, put some vegetables, put some onions, and you're good to go. Let's keep having our okra. Bye, everyone. See you in my next one. Goodbye and God bless.